Hi, I'm Ryan Jesperson, president of the Tezos Foundation, and I'm here at Geneva a few hours before the, the meetup that's going to happen tonight, and I ran into the people from Cryptium Labs, and so they just received, uh, or we just gave notice that they're receiving a grant from the Tezos Foundation, so I'd love to, to hear from them about who they are and then also a little bit about the grant. We're going to toss it over to them. Hey guys, I'm Adrian. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of Cryptium Labs. I am currently also actively working on the Cosmos Network and engineering validators. And the main reason why I am excited about Tezos is because it's the first thing that's actually life and that we can actually see how it behaves in the real world. Um, at the same time, I'm also excited about how governance plays out and whether on-chain upgrades actually work very smoothly or not. So yeah, that's why I'm excited about Tezos. I am Awa. I'm also one of the co-founders of Cryptium Labs. And well, I used to work as a data scientist at Genalysis, and then I did some research for Cosmos, and then also help a little bit around the Ethereum, Ethereum Community Fund. Um, what I'm excited about, about the Tezos, um, I would say mostly the fact that we can actually test these assumptions that, um, that the Tezos proof of stake is based on. So this is a big difference between what works in theory and what works actually in practice, and that's actually what excites me the most. I'm Chris. I first got involved with distributed ledgers back when they were proof of work, mining Bitcoin in my garage uh, to the annoyance of my parents. But I'm glad the tide has turned in favor of proof of stake, as it is much less loud and noisy. Uh, I now work as a core protocol developer at Cosmos and the third co-founder of Cryptium Labs. And I'm excited to see uh, distributed decentralized governance work or not work in the many interesting ways it will undoubtedly do so. Cryptium Labs is proof of stake company essentially. We are fully betting on the future in which proof of stake will win and become the majority security factor behind most public blockchains. Um, Cryptium Labs itself is very simple. It's very simple. We have like three basic pillars, which is secure validation, so running hardware that actually protects our networks, um, development and research, building open source tooling that helps developers interact with for example, the Tezos network and be able to write smart contracts in a better way. And lastly, community development. So teaching, sort of like taking the, high, the low level protocol choices and making it understandable for the wider public. And sort of like translating core protocol into a series of articles and series of resources that anyone can understand if they're interested. So we received a grant from the Tezos Foundation for community development as sort of the first step in helping to build the Tezos ecosystem. Um, what we will be doing with the grant is very much focused on the Chinese and eventually also the Spanish speaking community and make it a lot easier for people that are new to the ecosystem, which right now is essentially everyone, to understand how Tezos works, how you can interact with a network, how you can secure your funds on ledgers, for example. Like a good example of the sort of content you can expect from us is articles such as, uh, like the one we wrote, for example, on how the uh, over delegation for validators works or how securing your funds on a ledger works. So like how do you install the ledger application and then how do you move your funds into the, onto that ledger. Um, going forward, what we really like, one of the next coming articles is how do you actually use multisig? So how do you build Michelson smart contracts in order to have a multisig contract to protect your funds? Uh, so that's sort of a, and generally we will try and make the core protocol and the core technology very understandable and like easy for people to grasp. So like, that not everyone has to read a bunch of old camels to understand what's going on. And the needs, we think, of uh, protocol stakeholders will change over time. And right now, they're understanding the core economics of proof of stake, how to delegate, how to choose a baker, how to understand if you're getting paid fairly. Later on, they'll change to protocol upgrades, how to evaluate protocol upgrades, how to write your own. And we hope to help delegators along uh, during every step of venture. Another part which is kicking off very soon as well for us in China is actually hosting meetups to bring together the local Tezos community. So you can expect a lot of content from us and um, a couple of actual physical events where we bring a bunch of community together. Thank you so much everybody from Cryptium Labs and as president of the foundation, you know, thank you and then also the community, uh, we thank you as well. We appreciate all that you do.